everyone, we're Pop Couple. I'm James. Lisa. And we are here with number four. Is it four? Yeah, it's oh. four of the Disney collection videos. Oh yeah. So Ooh. he's amazed too. Yes. So far, we've made it all the way up to number 84. Three. Three? Oh, that's 83. right, because there is no 84. Did you know that? Fun Disney fact. never Funko oh. never made a Disney pop number 84. Fun fact. It's just for funsies. Yeah. So this one will start off with number 85, and we are gonna go all the way through number 119. Yes. Ah! We've got them all. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yes. So, first in the set is a set of five pops that are Lion King. So we have Simba. Let's show you this side. Wow. Wow. Kind of hard to see because his ear is blocking, but there's Simba, followed by Timon. If I could have the, any of them, I'd probably keep, I'd probably keep Timon and Simba, but I don't, or Timon and Pumbaa, but I don't think I'm gonna keep these. No. no. Okay. I don't think I need them. You don't think you need them? Gotcha. Speaking of, it's Pumbaa. He's a warthog. Not in front of the kids. <laughs> He's very cute. Fourth in the lineup is Rafiki. He's very cute. I have the one of him holding Simba that's flocked, so I like that one a little bit better than this one. But, but this is the OG version, so. And last one of the five is Ska. He's pretty cool looking. You gotta love a good villain, and Scar yeah. is a good villain. He is. Hence the scar on his eyebrow. Through his eye. All right, so that is covering number 85 through 89, which is the full original Lion King collection. Very nice, very nice. What do we have next? Next, it looks like we've got some Beauty and the Beast. We're gonna start off with Peasant Belle. Oh. So this would be her in the beginning of the movie when she's hanging out in town, walking through, ready to get her books. And Mr. Gaston being like, hey, why do you want to read books? Don't you want to look at me? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen these movies way more than I have, clearly. <laughs> I think that was one of my sister's favorite Disney ah, movies growing gotcha. up. gotcha. Then we've got Mr. Cogsworth. One of the first, I guess, creatures that we you meet when... Uh, Belle wanders on in into the castle. Mm -hmm. I think it's a. I, I like these versions of the. Um, I guess creatures from uh, Beauty and the Beast way better than the live action versions oh, that yeah. they did because those were creepy as heck. Yes, true story. Next up, we've got Mrs. Potts and Chip. So entertaining, and it's a mini. It's a mini. It is a mini. Lisa likes the minis. But I'm not keeping these ones. You're not keeping these ones? Beauty and the Beast was never one that I was like wowed about when no. I was a kid. No. But it was so amazing. I don't have a huge connection to Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. All right. No. And last but not least in the Beauty and the Beast stuff, in this part of the collection, yes. Lumiere, the French. Ho, ho, ho. Candelabra. Candelabra. Who likes to mess around with the feather duster. It would have been awesome if the little light, those little candles went lighting up. Like if, yeah, if it was one of the, the light up ones, that would be cool. That would definitely be cool. Or if they glow in the dark. Yeah. The same would be if the little TikTok in Cogsworth actually moved. Oh, that would have been there cool. There you go. All right, so that covers 91, two, and three. Next up, we have some from Bambi. So, can't have Bambi, duh, without Bambi. Right. So here's Bambi. Did you know Bambi's a boy? Yeah. I didn't know that for a very long time. Oh, yeah. There's only three pops in this collection. So we will be showing all of them to you guys. Uh, next up we have Thumpa. There we go, here's Mr. Thumper, very cute. Isn't it Thumper who says, don't say nothing nice if you can't say, or don't say nothing at all if you can't say something nice. It's either him or Flower. Ah. I don't remember which one, to be honest. Speaking of, Flower! 
He's a skunk that supposedly is a flower and smells good. I don't know. It's a skunk that likes flowers. I know, yeah. So those are the three that they originally put out for um, Bambi. Bambi movie. Um, these aren't ones that I'm keeping either. <laughs> I, I wasn't a huge Bambi fan either. Well, I don't how know. can you be? Mom gets shot. And I know. Spo spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Mom gets <laughs> shot in the beginning of the movie. Yeah. And he's kind of he's kind of left on his own. Yeah. Not a not a good thing for kids. To make to make friends with a rabbit and a skunk. And a skunk. Hmm. <laughs> Next up. We have probably one of my favorite Disney movies growing up, Robin Hood. I don't think I ever saw it. Oh, so good. Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest. Ooh la lolly, ooh la lolly, golly, what a day. Yeah, I never saw that movie. <laughs> <laughs> First up, we've got Robin Hood himself, the Sly Fox. Definitely a good pop. Like I said, I loved this movie growing up. Watched a ton. Then we've got Prince John. Oh, mommy! The anytime he got defeated, sucking on his thumb. Yep, never saw that one. <laughs> and then, of course, the third one in the set, Sir Hiss. Mm -hmm. Him and uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham constantly going at it, trying to be Prince John's favorite. There we go. So that covers the three that they did from that movie, 97, 8, and 9. Mm -hmm. Then we move into number 100. So we have movie or movies. We have Pops <laughs> from the Jungle Book. So first off, we got Mowgli, which I kind of mentioned in our very first or second video. They should have done him instead of like Baloo and them first, in my uh. opinion, because there's a weird sticker on the side of this one. But um, they should have done that first, in my opinion. But they didn't. So there's only three pops in this line. We will show you all three of them. First was Mowgli. Next is Ka. It's like a little snake festival going on. Because um, we had Sir Hiss, now we have Ka. Look into my eyes. I also don't think I saw this movie very often. I might have seen it a couple times. <laughs> I guess I was deprived as a child. It must have been. And last up we have Shere Khan. There we go. I'm going to kill the man cub. Hmm. That's no good. Bad guys. Who's the villain? Again, I know. another great villain. So it's like, they always make like bigger lions, the bad guys, right? right? Uh, Shere Khan's a tiger. Well, okay. Bigger creatures of the jungle. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'll stop talking. You can move <laughs> on to the next one. Next up, we've got another spectacular movie that I know I watched a ton. I didn't. Roger Rabbit! Great film, and definitely more of an adult-themed yeah. movie uh, for when it came out, especially being part of a, a Disney line. Mm -hmm. Great flick, though. So you got Roger Rabbit, gotta have his love interest, if you're gonna have Roger Rabbit, with Jessica Rabbit. Which I guess, was she really his love interest? She was his wife. That's your love interest. I guess so, yes. Well, yes, yes. not always, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> Fair enough. In this case, definitely a love interest. Yep. And she's not bad, she's just drawn that way. Then, Christopher Lloyd. Oh. Mr. Judge Doom. And he had a high pitched voice like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna make you cough. <coughs> Those high pitched voices. It's hard. <laughs> anyway, Judge Doom, the villain. What is he holding? A shoe? A uh, shoe, yes. Oh, I don't think I ever saw the full Roger Rabbit. I need to do some uh, watching. You, you apparently movies. need to watch some Disney movies. <laughs> and then the last one of this set, Smarty Weasel. One of the right hand villains of Judge Doom. And what is he holding? What is he holding a gun? Yeah. Uh, his other hand's like in his pocket. <laughs> no. That's, <sighs> that's like the chain Look for a right pocket here. watch. It's like a chain for a pocket watch. Okay, it's a chain. 
Wink. <laughs> Dirty mind. So there we go. Four pops <laughs> from the Who Framed Roger Rabbit movie in the Disney line. Yeah. Next up, What's next? we have a set that I already own the entire set. Well, almost the entire set because I liked it. And those are some of the first pops I feel like we bought, like uh, set-wise. Probably set-wise, yes. So we're moving to Big Hero 6. So the first one we have up is Gogo Tamago, main character, one of the main characters, I should say. There we go. Next up, we have Honey Lemon. Very cute character. That was 108. Okay, next up we've got Hero, which mm -hmm. is the actual, sorry, main character of Big Hero 6. Him and his good old buddy, which we'll show you in just a second. Uh, next up we have Wasabi. No Chicha. Right here. Uh, next up, James has Emoticon Baymax. Big guy. You seem to be suffering from depression. <laughs> from being locked up for so long. You will notice on some of these, the, like the Big Hero 6, there is some like sun fading. Yeah, whoever uh, owned it before us had to have kept them directly in the sun. Yeah, which it is what it is. Especially the stickers. Yes. Because we have this one, which is super faded, and then we have another one, not this one, but a different yeah. one with a sticker that's totally faded too, but... Yeah, it just clearly looks like someone left it in the sun. Which happens. You know, back in 2014, we weren't as concerned. Nobody was. Right. And then this is 112, which is regular Baymax with his armor. Yes. With his flying fist of doom. Yes. Doom. We had Judge Doom and Doom. That's not really. Thinking, no? It's doomy, not doomy, really doomy. the flying fist of uh, doom. Doomy doom doom doom. I'm making that up. Grr, no? Doom 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 doom. doom. Um, and then, so out of that collection, I own all the characters, plus I own that regular suited Baymax. I don't have the emoticon one. I have to decide if I'm going to keep it, because we have like four, four or five, six inch Baymaxes at this yes. point. Um, and then the last one from this set is Fred. Good old fire breathing Fred. His pop is like a paperweight. The it's sucker huge. is it, well, beefy. Well, by huge, it's beefy, yeah. Beefy, beefy. It's a solid So, pop. I love that set. I don't know what it is about it. I've never wanted to get rid of them. Like, because when we filter through pops, sometimes it's like, oh, that one could go. Yeah. This one has never been one that I've said, let's let's get rid of them. Yeah. Um, I've always wanted to keep them. I don't know why. I just like them. I think they're very cute. They should have, I know they just made the Baymax holding the kitty, but they should have just made the kitty pop. Right. To go with it. Furry baby. baby. And that would have been the name. <laughs> All right, next set. We've got a set of two. It is some more Nightmare Before Christmas pops. Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Jack Skellington holding a snowflake. Mm. I believe that's what he's holding. It looks like it. He looks glow in the darky, but I don't think he actually is. It is a Hot Topic exclusive as well. So there you go. The sec well, second last one of these, we've got another Sally. Mm -hmm. What and is she holding? She's oh, holding a rose. A, a, a dead rose. Yes. So as most of you know, we've mentioned before who've watched these videos, um, we don't really collect Nightmare for Christmas. So these ones for sure won't be ones that are uh, staying in our collection. Well, okay, so I have to point something out. So when, we finished with Smarty Weasel. It was still series six, like the green background. Big Hero 6 didn't get a part of a series. It just got Big Hero 6. Oh. And then when you look at the beginning of Jack, it starts series seven. Interesting. It's red. So. Interesting. That is, and then the next one, which is Frozen, it got its own series as well. Yeah, they're series, well, they're series two of Frozen. That's interesting how they just started doing that. So. The first one in the Frozen set that comes next would be young Elsa. So here she is with her little snowball. We are not Frozen collectors, so Frozen Pops don't stay when we do have them. Um, the next one is young Anna. She has two little baby dolls with her. Very cute. There's the side. I like the simplicity of her face for some reason. It's cute. Yeah. The ginger freckles, I think, are just kind of um, and then we have Coronation Elsa. 
in her gown. There we go. And then the last one we have. Well, so is this going to be the last one we have? Because there's a, a, a few more in so, this So I don't have this one. Ah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then I don't know if we have these three. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to look. So we may not have them, which is why they may not be here. We'll find out. I don't or remember. you'll find out. In the next video. Yes. So the last one we have for this video is Coronation Anna. So this one, she's just in a ball gown with a pretty braid in her hair. There we go. Um, there are, as James was mentioning, some additional ones from the collection. So it has series one, which we showed off last video, and then series two, which is some of the ones that we're showing off here. So the young Anna and Elsa, the Coronation Anna and Elsa, of these and then it also has summer Olaf Elsa with Orban scepter upside down Olaf and a six inch marshmallow I know for sure I don't have the six inch marshmallow I might have those other three I'm gonna have to look through boxes so I know I previously owned upside down in summer yes but I sold my Olaf's because I said I, I wasn't gonna do frozen so but we have covered number 85 hence 84 doesn't exist all the way up to 119. Holy cow. Holy show moly. And there's still plenty more. Oh yeah, we have like three more full boxes. Yes. Like big boxes of Disney. So. Again, going on with the saga of Disney Pops. Lots of them. And so many of them are cool. Yeah. Whether they're for our collection or not. Right. Um, hopefully some of these are for your guys' collection. Yeah. Or you've got these in your collection, which already amazing, yeah. right? So, but yeah, um... So, I think all but potentially Emoticon will be available, whether someone wants to dib something and buy it from us, or if they'll just, you guys will find it in a whatnot posting or a whatnot auction, either yeah. one. So, most of these are not keepers, but that's okay. Yes. Again, yeah. some of these are ones that you don't see very often, which it's yeah, no. nice to be able to to have them and, and show them and let people see them as well. Right. Or you didn't even realize that they were there. I, I know there's plenty of times that we've looked at pops. Like, what? Either we've been going through the Funko app, like looking at something in particular, like, wait a second, I didn't know they made pops right. for that. Yeah. And then you're like, ooh, I need to Now I need to find them all. Yes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, in the comments below, let us know, what did you think of part four mm -hmm. of the Disney collection saga that we have going yeah. on here? Uh, are there some in here that you have? Some that you're looking for? Yeah. Some that you didn't even know existed? True story. Let us know. And uh, with that, as always, if you enjoy our videos and you like hanging out with us, please subscribe, hit that like button, and we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye! You paused. Bye! <laughs> Dramatic.